Okay, so problem 14 is the longest clad sequence and uh, it looks like this. So it says the following iterative sequence is defined for the set of positive integers. And what we have is uh, if we were on n, a term n, the next term would be n over 2 or a half n if n was even. Otherwise, if n was odd, the next term would be 3 times n plus 1. So using this rule above, we can generate the following sequence. So for example, 13 is odd, so we do 3 times 13 plus 1 to get to 40. 40 is even, so we do 40 over 2 to get to 20. 20 is even, so we do 20 over 2 to get to 10. 10 is even, so 10 over 5 to get to 5. 5 is odd, so 3 times 5 plus 1 is 16. 16 is even, so 16 over 2 is 8. 8 is even, so 8 over 2 is 4. 4 is even, so 4 over 2 is 1. And 1, uh, and, um, sorry, 4 over 2 is 2. Then 2 is even, so 2 over 2 is 1 right here. And uh, basically what it's saying is that um, it's you can see that this, sequence starts from uh, 13 and it ends up at 1 right there and it contains 10 terms oh by the way um you might be wondering why it finishes at 1 and the reason for that is if we do 3 times 1 plus 1 is 4 and then we'll go back to 4 to 1 4 to 1 and this 4 to 1 pattern will um, keep going on forever so it's it's thought that all the starting num if you start with any number the sequence will eventually end with one right here or this four two one pattern so what it says is that which starting number under the given limit so we'll take in a limit right here produces the longest chain so that's what we're going to be doing right here and the function is called the longest collapse sequence which i guess is the name of the sequence and again like i said before um it basically takes in a limit like this and that is our function right there. And in terms of testing, we can just do something like console.log result is. And what we're going to test with to start off with is we'll test it with 5847 because we know the answer to that. Like this. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. And the first hint here is that um, we have to... Um, keep track of whatever the longest chain was or the longest sequence. So I'm going to have a variable called longest sequence and I'm going to have a variable called longest value and longest sequence will basically store the length of the um, longest sequence that we found and I'm going to default that to 1 and longest value will basically keep track of the starting value of that longest sequence. And again, I'm going to set that to 1. Then I'll have an iterating variable called start value. And what we'll essentially do is basically say for a start value equals 2. So we'll start the chain with 2. A start value is a less than limit and then start value plus plus. So we'll basically go through every number between 2 and the limit right here and we'll basically generate the term for each of those values as a starting value. So we'll say uh, the first thing we'll have a variable called number of terms and we're going to default that to 1 because that's the lowest that it can be and then I'm going to have another variable called current term and I'm going to set that to the start value to start off with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build the chain. So what we'll do here is say, we'll say while current term is not equal to 1, remember that it's thought that they finish at 1. So while the current term is not equal to 1, we can say that if a current term is even, so current term divided by 2 produces a remainder of 0, then we can say current term equals, and then we have to do n over 2 right here. So it will be current term over 2 like this. And then we'll have else, so this means the current term was odd, and what we can say is current term equals um, 3 times current term plus 1, or 3n plus 1. And then what we can do here is, once we've done this part right here, we, we've added another term to our sequence, so we can say number of terms equals number of terms plus 1. 
So again, what this does is this while loop will continue generating the new terms in that sequence. Current term will always be the latest generated uh, term, and the number of terms keeps track of the number of terms that we generated, and this will continue until the current term becomes one, or we reach one. And then what we want to do is, once we've reached one and we've generated the chain, what we want to do is say if a number of terms is greater than the longest sequence that we found so far. And remember that uh, this starts off with, um, that should have been longest sequence, that shouldn't be longest collat sequence. Remember that it starts off at one. So if if the number of terms of the sequence for this whatever starting value we're currently on, if that's greater than um, what we have so far, then we can do something like console.log number of terms for, and then we can put this print the start value, and then we can say something like is, and then print the uh, number of terms like this. So this is each time we find a longer sequence, we'll print it out, and then we can just say longest sequence equals a uh, number of terms. So that's the length of the longest sequence we found. And finally, we want to set the longest value to the start value. And then what we want to do is basically at the end of this while loop, once we've done going through all the chains, uh, we just want to return the longest value basically. And remember that the longest value is the starting value of the chain with the highest number of terms. So let's test that out now. So for 5, 8, 4, 7, it should be 3, 7, 1, 1. So let's try that. Oops. And we can see that we get 3711 right here. And then for 46500, we should have 35655. So let's try it with this one. Yep, 35655. Uh, three, then 54512 should be 52527. So let's try that one. And then we should have uh, this one right here, which is 100,000, and that should be 77031. So let's input that. Yep, and finally we have, um, I think that's 1 million right there. So that's the last one that we have to test. And that should be equal to 837799. And yeah, that's our answer right there. So we have a working solution right here. So again, what this does is uh, we'll go through each value between two and the limit that we took in here. And we'll try starting the uh, sequence from those values. And we'll keep track of the number of terms that we generated. And then and we'll keep generating terms until we get to one. And then if the number of terms for any particular starting value is greater than the longest sequence we've found so far, we'll update the longest sequence and we'll set the longest start value to that start value. And at the end, we'll return whatever the longest starting value was. So yeah, uh, in terms of the official solution, in terms of the official problem, it's asking for uh, one million. So that's what we just ran it with. So we can just copy our answer from the terminal and submit that. And we can also go ahead and submit our uh, longest collapse sequence function. So if I copy that as well and enter it into here, um, I don't know if it's going to throw any issues with uh, infinite while loops or something, but let's try it. Nope, that seems to be fine, and our solution has been accepted right there. And in terms of the official problem, you can see that we've got the correct answer right there. So that's problem 14 completed.